Anantech has published their full review of the Intel Core i7-11700K nearly two weeks early. Like, it's one thing if they get an engineering sample like Tom's Hardware always used to do, and it's like, oh yeah, well, we've got some numbers, but they aren't final, no final bio. This is final hardware. How'd they get it? They bought it from a European retailer for the equivalent of 469 US dollars. Nice. 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 <clears throat> so here's how this works. <laughs> Normally, a publication like Anantech, like us, would have an NDA with Intel that would prevent them from publishing a review of a product that has, is not yet released, that has not yet um, had the embargo lifted on it. But the way that an NDA works is if you can demonstrate that the information did not originate from you, that it was already out in the wild, the NDA is thereby deemed null and void. So for example, if I were to make Luke sign an NDA that he can never tell the world that my eyes are actually green, for example, and I wear brown contacts because I don't want anyone to know. Yeah, that'd be bad. Then if Luke broke that news, I could sue him for whatever kinds of damages I feel I'm entitled to because of, you know, the fact that you guys found out, oh, good heavens, I have green eyes or whatever the case may be. But if some, you know, paparazzo or whatever, what's the singular form of paparazzi? I, I, I can't remember. If some- Is paparazzi not single, singular? I, is it not one of those words that they like, it's singular and plural? I'm not sure. The point is, if some rogue photographer managed to catch me before I got up and put myself together in the morning with green eyes and posted it on Reddit and Luke were to say, yeah, he's got green eyes, I would say, hey, Luke, you, because you could have at least like helped me keep this under wraps, but I would have no legal recourse because that information was already out there. All Luke did was kind of shrug and go, yeah, and. So he hasn't actually broken the NDA. He just isn't helping to keep it anymore because it's just public knowledge anyways. Yeah. Yeah. It's already, yeah. it's already public knowledge. So by the way, you were correct. It's paparazzo. Oh, nice. So Luke, or excuse me. So Anantech, yeah, they might have a signed NDA with Intel, but there's absolutely nothing Intel can do when it comes to a product that Anantech goes and buys because the deal with an embargo, with an NDA is, we provide you chip, you give unbiased review. So if we never provide you chip and you decide you give unbiased review, all the other terms of the agreement are basically unenforceable. In fact, this is kind of crazy. They actually notified Intel that they had the processor. This is a quote from the review. Our, and <laughs> this is great. They said they have it and uh, the response, this is really weird. Our email to Intel seemingly generated some excitement inside and to our surprise outside of Intel, but we received a response from Intel stating that they had no comment to offer. Regarding rumors about early retail availability, Intel told a non-tech, we take our embargo agreement seriously and are following up as appropriate. Well, <laughs> Um, let me give you a little clue, Intel. 11700K by, hold on, let's do a little display capture here. Let's see if maybe we can find this, this rogue, this rogue processor. I, we're going to try real hard. Let's see, let's see where to buy. Mm, I, 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 okay, we don't know. Oh, we don't know where to buy it. Wow, that's a lot of ads. Amazon, Newegg, Scan, Overclockers. Okay, well, they don't know. They don't know the news. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Oh, second link. Let's try again. <sighs> if, but, no, oh, the price might shock you. What a headline. Thank you, Tech Radar. It's still up at the time of writing. Wow, that was really hard. Intel is sure doing an amazing 
super awesome good job of following this up and making sure that mindfactory.de does not sell any more of these Core i7-11700Ks. You know what the craziest part of this is, Luke? Mindfactory.de actually lists right on the product how many they've sold. So you can actually see they are a pretty small time seller. They sold 5,600 10700Ks over the entire lifetime of the product. And even though this is an early product that I would think with all the shortages on CPUs right now, gamers would be pretty eager to get their hands on. They've sold over 240. Well, that was sure worth it. 240 <laughs> whole whole CPUs to all in the interest of or like what I mean at what cost, right? All you did was like off every other retailer on the planet and probably Intel. And definitely me cuz I'm pretty annoyed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like it's supposed to be that you compete with other media outlets on the merit of your coverage, right? But when it's like this, all of a sudden it's just like a mad grab for who has the best back alley contacts to source the product uh, earlier, -er, right? Like it, the whole idea behind being a reviewer and having- Do you think this is a, a dirty move for a reviewer to do? Um, if, if Joe and Bob's computer shop down the street yeah. had one for some reason, would you buy it and do a review or no? Hmm. Yeah, I'd do it. Yep. Yep. So any any anger that I have is going to be directed towards the inadequacy of Intel systems to prevent something like this from happening. Because yeah. everybody knows the second the product is in the hands of a retail partner, it's out. It's it a, is. If you don't do it, if an Anantech doesn't do it, if if someone else doesn't do it, it there's going to be another person in line that is going to do it. Exactly, it's going to happen. Or if he's going to come out, it's going to be leaked. If it's if it's in re, if it's on a retail shelf and you can buy it, it's out. It That's the really whole matter. reason that trusted partners who abide by embargoes are supposed to have the fucking product, like two weeks at three weeks ahead of time, so that. As long as we're on the ball and we're working on the thing right away, if something like this were to happen and some retailer goes early, we at least have the flexibility to make a move. Like we could call up Intel and be like, okay, look, um, clearly this embargo is, is dead. It's dead as a doornail. So we need to go live with this thing before all the, you know, at Joe's on forums are posting about it and people are confused and don't know what kind of performance they're supposed to expect. There's no, there's no reviews. Um, like we need to just go for it. And I mean, we had something like this happen actually with the 8K gaming experience that we did with the RTX 3090. Uh, there was some kind of something happened. Uh, I have some ideas exactly what happened, but um, there was a certain order that those videos were supposed to go up and that didn't happen. And so fortunately, because we were on the ball, we had access to the product early, we had our video ready to go and we were able to click publish right away because it was ready. So right now, I mean, I don't know, it's a funny thing because like I'm technically still under NDA for the 11700K, which means not only can I not comment on the performance and the price, and I mean, you can see the price is right there, uh, but I couldn't comment on a Canadian or American price, which is how I typically get pricing. So I can't comment on the price. Um, I, you can I, comment on the performance, can't you? Um, I guess I could now. Because it's in their article. Except, okay, so here's where we get into a bit of the nuance. So one of the things that I can't comment on is any terms of the NDA that have not been disclosed. So for example, if there was a particular uh, embargo lift time that Intel hadn't disclosed, I wouldn't even be able to tell you when I will be able to tell you. Another right. thing is that because we are going to be getting a chip from Intel and using that for our benchmarking, I actually cannot publish my own benchmarks. 
So I could tell you a non-text numbers. I could just repeat those. I could make a video about it because that's out there. But if we do our own measurements and we do our own analysis, that is now our data. And we could, well, we would. We would be restricted in terms of what we can tell you by the terms of our NDA. So right. at risk of breaking my NDA, because I feel like this is information that you know can't really hurt anyone too much, I don't even have one yet. So we are in absolutely no position whatsoever to respond to this because Intel went and got product out there in distribution to retail partners before even seeding media. Um, or at least us. I mean, it's quite possible that others have it already. I know that um, Der Bauer, Roman, often gets stuff early because he's involved in things like overclocking validation in addition to being a reviewer, for example. Right. So I'm pretty annoyed, but I'm annoyed mostly with Intel, not with a non-tech. If I was them, I'd have done the exact same thing. I even got a, I even got a little message from Ian Got a, got a cute little message from Dr. Cutrus over here. What the heck did he say? This, this guy, he's adorable. He's adorable. He's like, teehee. No, he didn't actually write teehee. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that doesn't really sound like he him. He goes, got something coming out late. You might want to talk about on WAN show. Just FYI. Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this clout chasing motherfucker. Okay. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he knows i can't resist it he knows <laughs> so i gotta talk about dr cutrus on the show <laughs>